Okay, we want to tell you about a new spot in town. It's called the Kitchen Social. Seems like a lot of fun. Mm -hmm. It just opened in Fort Myers, and culinary experts teach you how to make different types of meal in a, meals in a fun and social setting. So Catherine is there right now. So Catherine, what you guys working on? Good morning, Chris and Lisa. Well, you know what? I wish you guys could actually smell through the TV right now because it smells like garlic and butter and just amazingness in here. We've got Chef Ed whipping up some pot pie. That's just one of the things that you can make at the Kitchen Social. It's brand new to Fort Myers. If you're not impressed already, Chef Ed's been a chef for 35 years now, is that correct? Just short of 35 years. A couple more months. And you know what you're doing. He's been teaching me all morning. We made our crust in the last half hour. Now we're working on the filling. So tell everybody what's going on in here. So I started off um, by sweating the two longest, uh, the hardest cooked vegetables, which was our potatoes and carrots. Let them cook for three or four minutes. Added my celery and onions and then my roast chicken. Um, we sauteed some garlic in there before we added anything and a little bit of flour before we added anything liquid based so we don't have any lumps. Uh, so now I just added some fresh homemade chicken stock and as I turn the temperature up on this, it's going to kind of activate the, the flour and butter mixture. It's called a roux. It'll thicken this mm -hmm. up into a gravy. We'll add some peas for a little color and we're here we have a bay leaf and some fresh cut thyme and sage for some herbs, give it some flavor. And then I'll save adding salt and pepper for dead last because this is gonna change a little bit chemically. It's gonna reduce a little bit. Always add your salt and pepper last, fine tune it, and always add half of what you think you need because you can always add more, but you can't take it out once it's in. Err on the side of caution and you can never go wrong. Looks like you added that just in time, right? Yep, that was that was right on. Dad joke right there, trying to be funny, yeah. Right on, uh, no, no, <laughs> nice. Right on the mark. This is one of the things we'll be making in our summer kids camp that's coming up next week. We that's have right. um, three hours per day, uh, five, Monday through Friday, and uh, parents can stay if they'd like to, but they don't have to. They can drop their kids off, go get their hair done, go play golf, do whatever you want, and uh, we'll take care of them. And if they're later than three hours, it's not like we throw the kids out on the street. They get to hang out. And, <laughs> well, uh, that's good. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> we'll put them to work. You know, there's always work to be done in the kitchen, so. Absolutely. Keep Doing it. some dishes, having them do some good stuff to take home for the parents. They could even whip up dinner for mom and dad. What do you guys think? Yeah. That's it. That's, I, they, they tend to love it. And then the fifth day of the, um, of the week is a CHOP style class where the two, the class is divided into two teams and they compete against each other. They each have different Look recipes and they're kind of judged on creativity and flavor presentation and win a little prize at the end of the whole thing for the, you know, just for the winning team. Now, you know what, Chris, I think your son would be pretty good at that because he what? He judges oh, yeah. grilled cheese and stuff <laughs> like that. I know he's a food pro. Yes, he is. And he loves the cooking and shows. Everything too. is based for a beginner. So even if your child mm -hmm. or you have no well, cooking you experience, come on down. We literally assume that everybody walking in the door has never touched any food before. And we start with the absolute basics, uh, including how to properly use and work a knife, which we'll get into a little later. Yes. The next half hour, we need some knife safety because I don't trust myself with those things. There you Honestly. Go. Thanks, Chef Ed. We'll toss it back to you guys. Thank you, Catherine. I feel the same way.